It's crazy to think that we're already hitting the third Avengers movie pretty soon. This uh, movie series goes back about eight years. There has to be about 15 some movies made by now. And uh, it's kind of crazy how this all ended up working out for Marvel. You know, we have an entire universe of all these characters connected to one another. There's TV shows now as well on ABC and Netflix. It's kind of crazy that this all happened in a matter of a couple years and just eight years ago people didn't think any of this would have been possible at all and now here we are and movie other movie studios are trying to replicate the same thing but you know a lot of the movies are really good I've liked most if not all the Marvel films besides I, I guess I would say the Thor films I wasn't a big fan of those or Iron Man 2 that was another one Incredible Hulk those but you know Ever since then, mostly with the second phase of the films and the start of the third phase, nearly every one of their films and TV shows has been excellent. I just finished Luke Cage, actually, and I didn't expect to finish that as fast as I did, but it, I got so into it, I had to finish it within a couple days. That series was amazing, and I highly recommend it for anybody. No matter how good they are, there's a lot of... Uh, I would say emotional problems with the films, not just in the fact that there isn't a lot of tension. None of the characters have died yet. You know, in Avengers Age of Ultron, you thought somebody was going to die. In fact, I think that film would have been better if someone would have died. That could have been that series, Empire Strikes Back. But instead, they killed off a character that was introduced in the same film. And they led up to the idea that one of the characters was going to die, but it didn't end up happening. So there wasn't a lot of emotional tension going on in that film. I'm beginning to think that, you know what, we need to kill off a character. We need to kill off someone from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I was thinking about this and I decided I'm going to make a quick vlog about it. So uh, here it is. These are my top five characters that should die in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, not all of them dying, but at least one of these characters needs to go. Number five, Thor. And a lot of people probably think, why am I saying Thor? And I'm just saying, I think his arc is mostly done. But again, this is only number five. This is the one that I was least thinking about, should die. It also might be just because I'm not a big fan of the character. <laughs> but someone I mean that's number five number four Hawkeye now this was a character that was built up in Age of Ultron as if he was gonna die they put a lot of emphasis into his backstory they showed his family went to his house that was like in the countryside it was a beautiful scene and I thought the whole time oh my god they're gonna kill him aren't they and they didn't end up doing it and I guess that's not a problem he ended up being in uh, Captain America Civil War really randomly too because he retired and I was like you know that'd be good that'd be a good way to end his character have him just simply retire but then a year later immediately after retiring he comes out of retirement gets arrested and now he's sitting in a jail cell I guess Captain America broke them all out but yeah now he's a fugitive now I'm thinking that they actually are gonna kill him it would be kinda sad if they introduced his whole family and then did that just so we could feel an emotional connection to them to him simply so they could kill him just so they'd have some character develop but they don't want to kill one of their main characters do you really think the studio is going to get away with killing a Thor or a Captain America or an Iron Man probably not so Hawkeye is a good choice he's been in most of the movies well the Avengers films that is and he has enough emotional backstory now that when he dies we'll actually feel an emotional punch and it might even be a bit surprising but speaking of a character that the Marvel studio cannot kill is number three Iron Man now I know he's the big one he's the big one up there he's the most important Avenger probably he's the most famous one and he's been in the series the absolute longest he's the one that started the whole franchise so if he were to die that would be so impactful on everybody and so surprising that I don't even know if people would actually accept it. I don't know if people would end up even being happy with that. But then again, he's been in the series for so long that he, Robert Downey Jr. can't do that role forever. I don't know if they would ever want to kill off Iron Man, but I think that his is another arc that is mostly done. 
they, what, well, what's kind of sad is that it, set, it keeps being the same arc over and over again. He makes mistakes, and he learns from them, and he learns to be a better man by the end of the film. But then by the next film, he has to go through that arc all over again. Iron Man 3, I thought, was a really good film just for his arc. I know a lot of people have problems with that film, especially with the villain. But Iron Man alone, and, you know, Tony, uh, Tony Stark alone, had a really good arc in that film. I think that by the time Avengers comes around, the third one, I think that maybe he should die. I mean, it would be such a sad moment. He could do it as a sacrifice, and I think it would tie up his story well, because he ended up... He, I mean, he almost died in the first Avengers, but... Again, I don't think they'll actually do that, because he's such a big, popular character. He's the one that started the Avengers. I think they'll just end up retiring Robert Downey Jr. from the role, not actually kill him off, but it's an option, and it would definitely hit everybody like that. Number two, uh... Bucky Barnes, or better known as the Winter Soldier. Uh, yeah, this is one that if he were to die, the person that would affect the most is Captain America. If Bucky were to die, I think this would affect Captain America on such a huge emotional level that it would take the film in a completely different direction. I don't know how Captain America would uh, react to that, so if they were to ever do that, I think that would be pretty effective. But number one... I think would be the most effective and number one is the Hulk. I think the Hulk should die. It does not look like they are going to make another Hulk film anytime soon. He is going to be in Thor Ragnarok and I hope I said that right Ragnarok or Ragnar- I can't. I, I think it would be a- I think it would be a good emotional turn for the film series. For one, he's not a character that they're going to be trying to market too much like they can still make toys out of him but I also know that of the four original Avengers he's probably the least popular especially in the fact that he hasn't gotten any sequels to his films they haven't talked about developing them and you know with that he also his power isn't there isn't much that he can do sure in the Avengers the big turning point is when the Hulk emerges and that was everyone's favorite part of that movie but I don't think he contributes enough to the team where he's going to be sorely missed, not, not by the team themselves, but by the audience. I think if they were to take him out, people would understand why he died. It would be one of the saddest moments in that whole cinematic universe, especially if they left him dead, if they didn't try to bring him back. It would be the strongest of all the scenarios that could happen. It would be the character that's most plausible to kill off, marketing-wise, money-wise, studio-wise, audience-wise. I think in the end, everybody would be satisfied, especially if it was done right. So, I think it's time for Hulk to go. And Their films are definitely not getting stale yet, but by the third Avengers films, when there will be like, I want to say 20 movies have like been made, I think it's about time at least one person dies. But that's just a thought.